Hello everybody and welcome back to Tron. Um, <coughs> I know I'm disheveled. I know I've been... Let's turn that down a little. I know I've been absent for a couple days. Uh, but, you know, it's finals. Or rather, at my college we write a bunch of final papers. So I've been a bit busy, preoccupied with things, but that's okay. We're here now. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can finish Trom in this episode. I was told it's only about a two hour game, so we're gonna see where. Oh, continue. No, 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 I don't wanna start over. Uh, uh, I guess the one hour, seven minute, three second one is superior to the one hour and seven minute one. It's all the France like me. Oh! Oh, right! <laughs> I forgot I was here! No, it's behind the mirror. It's like this isn't a mirror, but a window. Oh, I don't know if I remember everyone's voices either. This is going to be interesting. That thing just wanders there. It doesn't look like it can see me. Where's the eyes? Jesus, that's all seriously wrong. I need to get out of here. I'm not sure I want to leave this bathroom again. What the hell? What is this place? Some kind of, some, some sort of warehouse, not some kind of warehouse. Big distinction. There's a sign that says safe there. I think I can trust it. Safe or red light. <laughs> wheelchair illuminated by red light. Safe sign, wheelchair, safe sign, wheelchair. How about door? I'm gonna go to, oh, same thing. Wait, she's not moving anymore, is she? Nope, she's still, it's the same text. What's this? Something oozing out of the vent and I'm sure as hell not going to touch it. It's blood, you moron. Oh, I came out of the middle door. Oh, what the fuck? What happens if I do that again? Oh, it just leads into oblivion now. No. Okay. No, I didn't mean to click on her again. Also, I'm pretty sure that looks like your wife. Oh, and it's, it resets. That's weird. Okay. Uh, uh, fine, I'll go to the wheelchair. This wheelchair looks familiar? F cue flashback? No? Okay. This looks so wrong, I don't want to be in here. There's blood everywhere. No shit. Irma? Irma, is that you? Make us whole, Mike. Make us whole. <laughs> she means she wants to have sex. Come on. Mike. Come on. What? What do you mean, Irma? Should I look, look at stuff? Some text on the screen. Liar. Well, that's descriptive. Some bloody papers. Do they also just say liar? Mirrors? Can I click on? I need to get out of here. <laughs> There's a Bible on the table. It's partly burned. Demons? Is this demons? <laughs> Cement bags, no clue. Didn't even want to click on that, but good to know. Well, I guess we're going to the safe zone. Oh boy. Um, I really, really don't want to know what happened here. What is that? Like a sponge? Oh, it's flowers. And apparently some are soaked in blood. They're locked. Good. Oh, I wanted more names. That was fun. This is less fun. Oh, there's someone else up there, too. Is that the doctor? Accept it, Mike. You have to accept it. Huh? Accept it. Oh, shit. Is he dead? I know, I know I had- Oh, I just started hearing his little footsteps. I know I had some theories, I don't know if I expressed them in the last video, but I know I had some theories about like him being in a coma, and this was just kind of how his brain was interpreting everything, but I had no idea he might be dead. Irma? Thank you, Mike. Thank you for- Irma! <laughs> Where'd you go? She vanished. <clears throat> Good job, Mike. I was at the doctor. Good job, Mike. This is weird in the context of the fact that I'm reading a book about letting go some time ago. 
As you walk through the door, you hear your wife speaking to someone. You don't recognize the other voice. They're a bit too far for you to make out what they're saying. Oh, there's someone there! Who the fuck is that guy? There's someone talking to my wife? In my home? Technically, he's in your backyard. Damn, I can't hear what they're saying. I should sneak closer. I have to be careful. I don't want them to see me. Or you could just be like, hey, douchebag, why are you in my backyard? Wow, real sneaky snoo. It's about as good as I am at sneaking. There, I can hide behind these bushes. Those bushes. Wow, that was so amazing. How come I've never seen you do that before? <laughs> I apologize. My brain is not in the right place to take this seriously. <laughs> Everything's becoming an innuendo. I apologize. Oh, oh, maybe I wasn't wrong. You liked it? I just wanted to try something new. I can't think of a good voice for him. Did I like it? I loved it. You really need to do that more often. I have the humor of a 13 year old boy. I apologize. Irma turns at the man and smiles. You feel disgusted at the sight. You're also unable to get a clear view of his face, which annoys you even more. I mean, it's just a shadow man. There is no face. As my lady commands, I shall obey. Can we go back inside? It's really chilly out here. I know a few activities that can keep you warm. Uh, this guy's creepy. You do? Yeah. Wow, she's innocent. Then again, she's got the crucifix on her neck. That make it sound like it's implanted into her. The necklace and the Bible. Oh yes, I do. Uh, I don't like his smirk. You've been quite adventurous lately. Why? She's so fucking innocent. I thought I should spice things up a bit. Did it work? Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> you have a right to be angry at this point, Mike. I don't blame you. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> I'm back at my office, just the place where I want to be. This music is new. What about my, uh, oh! Oh, it's him! Chris! Oh! Oh, none of them have faces! Holy shit, he doesn't have a face! Oh, God! Oh, it's the office party, isn't it? Or is it? No. But what, what are they doing in here? Maybe you should... Okay, you have a face now! Do you remember their names? Or have you already forgot? Think on it, Mike. And he's gone. Do I remember their names? Huh. Not sure if I remember them all, but their deaths might give me a clue. Oh shit, do I have to remember their names? Names is like... It took me two weeks to learn so one of my closest friend's names. A long time ago, I'm not friends with them anymore. But it took me two weeks. I went to school and saw them every single day. I don't do names! Oh, hi, Chris. I tried my best to support you. No one else really likes you, really. Well, that's harsh. Okay. Um, Jim works here. I don't think I've ever spoken to him. Okay, so he's kind of the odd man out. Evelyn used to work here, but she got promoted after having a private chat with the boss. Oh, now it's just an empty desk. So she's probably not here. This is Joyce. It reeks of perfume, which is causing me a headache. Okay. I think this is James? Yeah, it's probably named Skinny Guy, Lots of Dandruff. So, Joyce Perfume, James, Skinny, and Dandruff. George's. He got fired. Not here. Edward. Nothing of interest. Dull. Okay, so Edward is dull. Joyce has a lot of perfume. James is really skinny and has dandruff. Never seen a desk as filthy as this. Okay, but whose is it? And then... Who was the one who you didn't know? Jim. Don't think I've ever spoken to him. So Joyce has a lot of perfume. James is real skinny. Edward... Fuck. Well, first of all, Jim is boring. Or Jim has never been spoken to. Edward is boring. Okay. Oh, never mind, they're all here. Okay. The hell is she wearing? Dress looks like it was picked in the dumpster. Ah, I wasn't ready for this! 
Okay, I know who it's not. So, I don't think it's Evelyn, because she was the one who got fired. Or quit. Okay? All my money goes to my mother's medical bills. I don't like the way you always judge me. You don't know me. Was I right? I don't know if I was right. Okay. Well, I know Joyce wears perfume, and I think those are the only two girls, so... Her figure looks stunning. Oh, yeah, because sexual harassment. Oh, no, Kate. What? Oh, no, they don't eliminate it. That may not have been Kate. Oh, but I know Evelyn was the one who left because it sounds like she was sexually harassed. Is that an Overwatch poster? I slept with Jonathan so he would promote me. And I carry his seed within. That means more money for me! Yay! I wasn't the only one. Fuck. Oh, that does kind of imply his wife did sleep with him. Well, that's a lot of perfume. That's Joyce. Why you always kept your distance from me? Don't you like me? It's okay. I don't like you either, smelly pants. Oh, does he smell bad? I don't like it when people smell bad. Okay, so I got one wrong? So that's, that was right about Evelyn and Joyce, but then, then Kate, where's Kate, George, desk as filthy as this. So that had to have been Kate, right? Then why isn't she there? Ah! Okay, George got fired, James, skinny guy, dandruff doesn't talk much, Jim, doesn't speak. Oh god, they're all boring and don't speak! Okay, there's gotta be... Okay. Edward. Looks as dull as the man himself. James skinny with lots of dandruff. Edward is boring. James is skinny. George got fired. Jim doesn't speak. Getting them! James. James is skinny. Okay? James is skinny. Edward is boring. George got fired. James is skinny. Edward's boring. George got fired. Jim doesn't speak. Oh god, they all start with chase sounds. Okay. Jim doesn't speak. Edward is boring. George got fired. James is skinny. Yes. Okay. James is skinny. George got fired. Edward is boring. Jim doesn't speak. James is skinny. Edward got- no. Yes, James is skinny. Edward got fu- God damn I'm just gonna wing it. This outfit doesn't stand out. James is boring, right? No, Jim was boring. I don't know! That's not right. Oh, it makes me guess until I was right. Oh, well then what's the point of trying to remember? Okay, um... I, no, Edward was the boring one. How come you never spent any time with me, Mike? Am I not exciting enough? Uh, I wonder what his problem is. What's his name? Jim? That's not right, I don't know much about Jim. Never seen this man, no idea who he is. That's Jim. I found you. You never talked to me. You never asked how I was doing. Why? Is this just a lesson about how Mike was an ass? It's a lot of dandruff. That's James. That book was not meant for you, Michael. You shouldn't snoop around so much. Oh, that's right. I did do that. I wonder if it would have done that anyway. Um, so that leaves George, right? Yeah. I asked your help, Mike. I asked for it in you didn't move a finger. Because of that, I couldn't finish the contract. It's your fault they let me go. What? Okay. Oh, she's there now. You'll never get out. All she wanted was to start a family. You're a failure. Worthless. She found happiness somewhere else. 
You know who? She lied. Oh no. You should have searched everywhere. She loves you. Why did you do it? She tried to understand. Did you ever love her? That report was a mess. How can you be so bad at your work? She called. You were taking out the trash. Spineless. Sniveling. Worthless. Should have joined the swim club. There is no escape. Remember. What is happening? I want so many answers. Remember what happened. Oh no. I see you've been busy lately, making new friends. Um, what are you talking- what are you talking about? Don't lie to me, Irma. I saw you with him earlier. What? Saw me with who? Where? When? Just stop. Just stop. He was here. You can't deny it. I saw you two, talking, holding hands. Mike, you're scaring me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Saw me with who? Mike, please stop! You're hurting me! Oh, that line. Just admit it! Admit it! Say that he was here, and I'll let you go. Jesus Christ, man. Does he hallucinate? I, I can't- I have so many questions. Mike, for the love of God, I don't know what you're talking about. Please let go of me. Sorry, I'm so- I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you say that. Irma, please forgive me. I was out of line. Please don't go. Please don't leave me. My dude. Mike, talk to me. What's wrong with you? What is all this? You're really scaring me. No shit. I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What is happening? Where am I now? Flip the switch. In front of you is a lever. If you pull the lever, one of your friends will die, but you will be safe. You can also not pull the lever, but they have a lever. If either one of them pulls it, one of you will die, and he or she will be safe. If all of you pull the lever, you will all die. If none of you pull the lever, you will all die. Wait, what? What will you do? Uh, yeah, repeat the rules. In front of you, lever, if you pull it, one of your friends will die, but you'll be safe. So I don't even get to pick. One of them just dies. You can also not pull the lever, but they also have a le lever. If either one of them pulls it, one of you will die and he or she will be safe. If all of you pull the lever, you will all die. If none of you pull the lever, you will all die. I mean, I know what I would do. I'm wondering what Mike would do. Because he's proven to be kind of selfish, but I don't know how far that goes. I feel like there's a lot of his character that I don't know yet. And I feel terrible making this decision for him. Like in games made by Bioware, when I make a choice, it's my choice. I receive the consequences. If I fuck up here, it's on Mike. I'll just... But if no one pulls the lever, they all die. I guess they all die together then? Oh, I should have saved. Can I still save? Ah, oh, I can save! I'm a terrible human being. Did save? Yes. Okay. No, nope, save again. Now I can't possibly fail. Yes, yes, I know the rules now. I'm going to not pull the lever. Well. What was that? Irma, I'm sorry, my love, but this is not real. This can't be real. She just fucking exploded. I have to keep going. Irma? Oh, it's in the past again. So where were you going again? Mike, I already told you this. I'm meeting my sister down the street. She'll pick me up and we'll go for a coffee. Your sister, huh? Yes, my sister. Why down the street? Why don't she pick you up from here? When, when did he turn southern? Why don't she pick you up from here? You know why. 
She's not really that fond of you, Mike. Not after she saw all the bruises. Well, that's justified. I already said I was sorry, Irma. I'm going with the accent now. I don't even know if it's a good southern accent, but it's what we have. I know. Hi. Now it's not a good time. Can I call you later? Who is it? I'll call you later. Who is- who Who was it? Tell me! It was my mother, alright? Can you please just calm down? You're starting to sound paranoid again. I'm sorry. I just want- I need to know so I can be at ease. You know how things are, right? I feel like this is gonna be really patronizing to a lot of southern people. I'm going to go now. My sister is probably waiting for me already. I'll be back in a few hours. Okay. See you then. Love ya. Oh. She's smiling, but... I'm not sure if that smile was sincere. She didn't say it back. Her sister? Sure. Sure it was her sister. I know it was him. She's going to meet him. She's going to meet Ben. Back in the mismatch. Sorry. I could... I could check her computer. There's got to be something hidden within that infernal machine. <laughs> it's more southern now. Mike. Mike, my dude. Browse and history. Marriage counselor. Forms. My husband suspects me of cheating. Doesn't treat me right. Something's wrong with him. You should leave him. Comment upvote 73. What is this garbage? She's gotten a lot of email from her sister, her mother, and some guy. It's that guy. That fucking guy. Thank you for being with me tonight. Thank you for the support, the meetings, and the warm hugs. I'll never forget the place where we had our first kiss. You looked so absolutely stunning. I hope we can keep meeting like this. I love you, Irma, your lover. Well, that's not well hidden. That... She's... Oh god, I hate cheating, but like... So my policy is if you're at that point, just break up with the person. It's not worth hanging on to, but also, if you're gonna do it, if you're absolutely gonna do it, and nothing will dissuade you, at least be clever about it! Like, she just leaves her email open like that? I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Oh? Are, are we killing him, or is this back in uh, our time? What the? Oh no, I know this door. Uh, I don't know what that was. Wait, I can hear noises coming from in there. Oh, that's... that's Irma. They're doing the do. Wait, is he the lover? Where do you want me to throw these? To the trash, where they belong! Ah, that's now he's southern too, God damn it! You see your wife throw something in the trash. They look like pounty. panties. That's what I do with my panties. Irma! Irma, what are you doing in there? Get away from him! Oh, I fucked that up. Irma! Irma, what are you doing in there? Get away from him! Oh, hi, honey. Didn't expect to see you. How have you been? She's like so... There you are. Smalling. Finally. Smalling. Is it true? You can't perform? <laughs> That's bold. <laughs> Irma, please. Get away from him. This is... That is unacceptable, Smalling. No employee... No employee of mine is allowed to be inferior. Damaged. Like, I know... Jeez. I do want to apologize, because I do understand, I feel like there's a lot of... ...importance to this. Like, Mike's going through a lot of internal struggle, but you, you guys... You guys get it. But you see, Smalling, because you can't do it, I must. As your boss, I have to take responsibility. And because I am such a good person, I will do it. I will do it for you. That's not... This is redacted from your next pay, of course. Nothing is free. Just get inseminated at that point. I love how you're taking control, Mr. Williams. It's making me very excited. Uh, 
Get away from her, you fuck! Leave her alone! Spalling! Get out of my office! Fuck! I have to save Irma! Oh. What the hell? Oh, hi, Mike! Hello, Mr. Smalling. I am afraid you are interrupting an important examination, and I have to ask you to leave. What is all this? Why is this happening? Ah, good question. As you already know, having a child is a difficult process. For healthy couples, it takes it may take years and years. Oh, doctor, just cut to the chase. Let's make it happen. <laughs> She's just banging everyone. Of course. Mr. Smalling, it's common practice for doctors to do whatever they can to help their patients. Please leave the room and let the professionals do what they do best. You'll see the results in nine months, as the procedure has a success rate of over 99%. No, 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 no! Why is this happening? What? What is all this and why won't it stop? In the fucking bath- Chris? You too? Jesus, Mike, you scared the crap out of me. You can't just sneak up on people like that, especially when they're in the middle of something. Oh my god, they're beating around the bush. They swear their heads off. Just say you're fucking. Why did you do this to me, Irma? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, Mike, I'm doing this for you. As your friend, I feel obligated to help you in any way I can. And what better way is there to help you get what you want? I can't let my friend down. Oh, he looks so happy. You're such a good friend, Chris. So I so am. What you up in there for, Mike? This is the way you both get what you want. Now go get some more of that wine. Who else did she fuck? No, she did not. Does he actually... I guess he's, he's in his own head about it. Irma, did you really do all this? Huh? Oh, what? Oh! Oh my! Can I even get over there? No? Okay, just shadow figure exists there now. I'm, I'm back home? Can he acknowledge the painting now? No? Okay. Well, to the bath. Doesn't open. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's the Shadow Man. Oh. What? I'm back home. You notice a pair of boots and a coat that does not belong to you nor your wife. The hell? Is she having a visitor? Is he here? You manage to control yourself and suppress your urge to scream. Your heart pounds and your palms are getting sweaty. You clench your fists and take a deep breath. I don't think they've heard me yet. This is my chance. Your chance to what? I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He's right there. Next to my wife. I know what they've been doing. I just know. They're watching TV, you dumbass. You resist the urge to assault the man. I need proof. If I had that, she can do- she can no longer deny it. I have them now. Bedroom. I need to check the bedroom. I need to be sure. It looks... Okay. Okay. Calm down, Mike. Take a dab. Take a breath. You get to... You take a deep breath. Your heart is still racing and your whole body shakes. They were here. I can smell it. <laughs> they were... Here they were, in my bed. God damn it, Irma. Why did you do this to me? They didn't even open the window. The whole room reeks of sex. Oh, he finally said it. Is that... It is. That f That it fucking is. It's a goddamn condom. But the- wait, that means she wasn't trying to- this is another thing I never understood about cheating. Why do they blame the third party person? Why aren't you blaming the person who did the cheating? I will kill that motherfucker. That is my wife he's fucking. No way he'll get away with this. No way. Time to have a little chat. Is it with a bat? Can 
What was that? Was it the door? Did he leave? He's taking the music. It's very futuristic. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? You tell me now. Now, goddammit. Mike, what are you yelling about? Stop acting, you bitch. Stop lying to me. I know everything. Mike, what the hell are you talking about? Stop yelling, please. No, you tell me where he is right now or you will be very sorry. Oh. Mike. Mike, stop. Where's who, Mike? There's no one here but you. You still keep lying to me after all we've been through? Just stop. I saw you with him just moments ago, so cut the crap and tell me where he is. Why don't you take a picture? I don't... I don't understand, Mike. Please stop this. I'll find him, and when I do, I'll kill him! My dude. Something weird's going on here, and I have no idea what. Jacket's gone, and the shoes. He must have left. He must have left already. Mike, seriously, why are you doing this? What happened to you? Why, Irma? Why did you do it? Am I not enough for you? I don't understand. Stop lying, you cheating whore. That's harsh. Stop this, please. I swear to you, I haven't done anything. No? You haven't done anything? What the fuck is this, huh? What is this? Ah, he's just holding a used condom. A used condom. What? Where did, where did you get that? What do you think? Upstairs in the bedroom. You still deny everything, huh? Why the condom, then? Why the condom? <laughs> Why? Mike, that's... That's not... How many times? How long have you been seeing him? How many? Out in our bed! I can't... I can't take this. No, you're sick. Mike's sick. You need to get help. Help? You're the one who needs help cheating on me? No one cheats on me. Dude. I... I'm going to go, Mike. I can't stay here and- stay here. Not now. Go? Where the fuck do you think you're going? To him? You're gonna go to him? My dude. Mike, I'm sorry. I'm going to go now. I'll go to my mother and I'll- I'll call you. We'll get help. You're not going anywhere. Dude, run. Irma, just run. He's not stable right now. Mike, you need help. sip of water here. Oh. That's right. You go. Leave me. Like you've always wanted. You cheat on me. Leave me. I'm just not articulating anymore. You all just leave me. Every, every time. You all. Oh. Oh. Oh, is he lonely? Please. Don't leave me. We'll, we'll work it out. Oh, I'm in control again. This is interesting. Just kind of cuts through all the rooms of the house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you all here? Are you going to mock me? Tell me I'm not up for the task? Just admit you're insecure and lonely and afraid. We're here to help you. To provide guidance and opinions. You're pathetic, Smalling. Let her go like that. No employee of my- Shut up. To your surprise, the boss actually shuts up. <laughs> See, Mike? Maybe it's time to stand up for yourself. Wake up. It's very important. It's very important to remember that there are multiple ways for healthy couples like you wake up. To get your own brat. Children are a burden. No, they're not. Stop messing with his head. His head is already mess- oh, <clears throat> His head is already messed up, as you youngsters would say. Wake up, damn it. Have you learned nothing, Smalling? Or anything? Do you remember now? 
No, he doesn't. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, Mike! You're already late from work! You're never late. Are you alright, honey? Irma. Is that you? Is that really you? Is this real? Yes, it's me. What are you doing sleeping in your suit anyway, silly? Irma. I'm so sorry, Irma. I'm so sorry for everything. Please forgive me. What are you talking about? No, this can't be real. This doesn't feel right. I'm so sorry for, for what I did. There's no excuse for me. Please, love, don't leave me again. Mike, we already talked this through. Everything's fine. Come on, I made some coffee. I, I, that slurping sound was necessary. Uh, are you sure you're alright, honey? You look pale. He is pale! He's so fucking pale! I had the worst nightmare ever, Irma. I'm so sorry for everything. I acted way out of line. I was such a bastard. Like I said, it's alright. It's in the past. We've already talked this through. Let's not talk about it again, please. Are you sure? I am. Now finish up that coffee. You're very late from work. To work. Not from work. I don't want to go there. I want to stay here, with you. You've never skipped work, Mike. You can't stop now. Actually, I put the resignation letter there, so... I'll be here when you come back, I promise. I love you, Irma. I know. Say it back! Now get ready for work, Mike. She has not once said it to him. How do I... how do I get ready for work? Do I just leave? This does not feel right. Where's your car, Mike? I didn't see it out front. It's... it's at work. At work? How did you... ah, it doesn't matter. Come, I'll drive you. I'll wait for you outside. Okay, uh, sorry, I had to process that. Smalling, your resignation has been rejected. You're bound to us for a whole eternity. There is no escape. Now get your ass back to work. Phone shuts down. This is... Mike, we have to leave now. He's coming, and he's coming fast. Phrasing. What? Who? Mike, listen to me. We don't have much time. We have to leave. Let's go through the back. What? Huh? Mike! Okay, lead the way. Actually, though, who's coming? Who's coming fast? Mike, what is this? I don't know. Mike, we have to hide. Find us a place to hide. What? You can't find us, Mike. We have to hide. Trust me. Oh, shiznit. I'm in control. No, it's too obvious. Oh, the bush worked out. There's no bush now. Nope, those are not going to help. No way we can both hide under... I'm not supposed to hide, am I? Mike, you need to find a place to hide. Or... Mike, you need to find us a place to hide. Or... Yes, yes. Or I can face it. You can't go outside! He's out there! Oh, come on! I thought I was being so clever. Under the bed, no, it's too cramped. Bathtub, don't think so. Well. Oh, I see. We have to go to the basement. Oh, that's what that door was. Oh, no, wait, that door wasn't there before. We have a basement? No, face him. I have to go in the basement. Ah! It's the Shadow Man. Irma, where are you? That always sounds vaguely aggressive. Irma! Oh. No, 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 I have to get this door open. He dropped the keys. 
find the right one for the door help oh oh fuck me so I like the number seven no okay wrong key shit it's it's not any of them is it fuck 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 do any of these work no I don't think so It's the last one. It's the last one you pick. That's... Irma! Irma, say something! She can't, Mike. You will fucking kill you! No, you won't. You can't. You try to move, but are unable to. What did you do to her, you fuck? What did you do? I did what I had to. She was being unfaithful. We had to fix it. Irma, please say something. She can't say anything, Mike. Not after what you did. What? I didn't do anything. You did this. We did it, Mike. I think I see where this is going. What? You did. No. There it is, Mike. Now you're finally seeing the truth. You're remembering. got out of the door. You, you never went to your mother's. Your sister. That's why she called. She tried to find you. I'm so sorry. Do you remember now? Do you recognize me? I mean, I did. Irma. Do you remember what you did? Tell me, Irma. Is there ever another man? Did you ever cheat on me? No. Soon after the doctor told the news, you changed, Mike. Something inside you changed. You started sending me flowers, started calling me, wanting to spice things up. I liked it at first, it was fresh. But as time went on, you started to act odd. It was like one day you were Mike and the next, someone else. I was scared. And we both knew how that went in the end. Damn. Are you real? Is this real? It's up to you to decide, Mike. I cannot say. Why is this here? Mike, I love you from the bottom of my heart. I was willing to spend my entire life with you. I was there when things were bad, and I was there when they were good. And I'm here now. How can I tell that you're you? You can, Mike. Listen to your heart. But now is the time. Time to make your decision. You've seen the truth, Mike. Do you trust it, or do you deny it? Ready to take responsibility of your actions. What? Responsibility. Oh. Oh, God. I did not expect this. So. I'm, I'm guessing. I've never played the game before, so I'm guessing. That if you shoot the ghost, it's you just basically signing up to go to jail for the rest of your life. If you shoot yourself, then you just killed both people. Uh, I don't feel qualified to make this decision. Can I save again? No, can't save again. If I fuck this one up, I'm fucked. Ah. Uh... Maybe if you shoot... Why is it binary? Can I just not shoot anyone? Why is that not an option? I guess... Uh, the way I'm thinking about it, so I hope no one hates me for this, but the way I'm thinking about it is if you shoot the ghost, you're just repeating the same thing. 
if you shoot yourself, you're at least changing things up, but it also might be perceived as like a form of denial. Like, no, no, I couldn't have killed her, and then he shoots himself. Um, if he shoots the ghost, it's accepting what he did. So I think... I think he needs to shoot the ghost. For his own sake. She's already dead. At least that's what I'm getting. So I'm gonna shoot the ghost. I'm sorry, Irma. But I can't trust anything I see in this place. You're not real. Well, that's not the logic I was using, but okay. Wait, that was the denial option? What? There's someone at the door? All oh, right, I locked the thing after everyone else. Made me feel... After everyone left, made me feel a bit safer. Never really liked being left alone. Wonder if I heard it right. Is it the feds? No, there's someone there. Maybe we should get that before it breaks. We'll lock the door and slowly open it. Carefully peeking between the door and the frame. Go! <laughs> You're here now, with us, for whole eternity. <laughs> Victim of the earlier hit and run incident has been identified as Michael Smalling, a local 39 year old man. Mr. Smalling was crossing the street when he was hit by a yellow car. He was killed on impact. The suspect was seen speeding away from the scene immediately after the collision. After identifying the victim, the police went to inform Mr. Smalling's next of kin, only to discover the suspect's car parked outside the Smalling resident. The suspect herself was found inside and didn't resist arrest. She was later identified as the sister of Mr. Smalling's wife. She is now in custody. Mr. Smalling's wife was not present at the residence. After questioning the suspect, uh, the suspect, the police returned to the Smalling residence with a canine unit who quickly led the police to the backyard. Let me see. It was there the corpse of an onion female, unknown female was found buried under the flower bed. The corpse is yet to be identified. We'll let you know when we get more information. Fuck. Well, that was a ride. Damn. Ah, oh, the music's giving me goosebumps. That was really sad, though. trying to process everything that just happened. <laughs> wow. It's like, I can turn that down. I genuinely thought shooting himself was the denial version. So that, I was trying to get him the good ending, but I inadvertently... I was I was trying to get the good ending and I ended up getting the bad one apparently. Hmm. Yeah. So it seems like he killed her because he became delusional and thought she was cheating. Even though it was really him the whole time, which I suspected may have been the case, but I wasn't sure. And then he got hit by a car, went into all these mind tribulation stuff going on and the whole point of it was for him to accept what he had done or deny it and I accidentally picked denial and I'm sorry for that I didn't want the bad ending I never want the bad ending but we all fuck up sometimes I fuck up a lot but that was well done it's, oh, oh, it's tempting to go back and just 
no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. That's what happened. Even though it's very tempting to go back. But wow, that was yeah, that was a ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, I could not be more awkward with my closing, huh? Thank you everybody for watching. I will see you in the next video.